Good morning, Christian friends, and welcome to another morning devotion brought to you weekly by the Leeward Island District. Our team focus for this morning is the family. I am Gloria Woodley van Putten from the St. Eustatia Circuit. Thank you for joining and pray that as we celebrate Family Month, that every family will be blessed this morning. Let us blend our voices as together we sing our team hymn, O Happy Home, which is 446 in the VIP. Let us pray. O God, the God of spirits and of all flesh, you are beyond compare and stand in need of nothing. You have given the sun rule over the day and the moon and the stars rule over the night. Look down on us with gracious eyes and receive our morning thanksgiving and have mercy on us. I praise you, Father, Without you, we will not have life nor the strength to live. Bless our loved ones and the strength you have given us, Lord. You are worthy of all our praise and worship. You are our strength and our protection. Keep our families in the district and connection at all times safe, Lord. In your son Jesus' name I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Let us please enjoy this song. Family Bible by George Jones. Rock of Ages, Rock of Ages, well for me. There's a family Bible on the table. Each page is torn and hard to read. But the family Bible on the table will ever be my key to memory. At the close of day, when work was over, and when family 
reading this morning is taken from Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 6 to 7. Keep these words that I am commanding you today in your heart. Recite them to your children and talk about them when you are at home and when you are away, when you lie down and when you rise. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Christian friends, our sub-team for today is mothers. Let us pray. Lord, speak to me that I may speak in living echoes of thy tone. As thou hast sought, so let me seek thine erring children lost and lone. Now may the words of my mouth and the meditation of each heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, O Rock, and O Redeemer. Amen. Brothers and sisters, the most important lesson mothers today can learn is the lesson that the people of Israel needed to learn many years ago. Mothers need to maintain a never failing trust in God and an unshakable obedience to his word. God gave practical instructions on how the Israelites were to live in the promised land of Canaan. They were to be obedient to the Lord by following all the instructions he had given them through his servant Moses. They were to meditate on the word of God and were to constantly remind themselves of all that the Lord had said to them in their wilderness wanderings. They were to diligently teach their children the decrees and statutes of the Lord and to train them in the way they should go. They were to keep God's laws in their hearts and use them to give their children godly guidance in every area of life. They were to develop a God-focused mindset and ensure that their children did not depart from his teaching. My friends, mothers in particular, Though this was a mandate given to Israel so long ago, these teachings are still very relevant in the world today. Friends, motherhood is an awesome gift and responsibility. God has given us children and he has also given us a manual, the Bible on how as mothers we are to bring them up. We are to instruct them onto the light path. We are not giving children 
just to boast and say we have children. They come with great responsibility, and as mothers, we will be called to give account for them. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 6 to 7, God said we are to be diligent about teaching them the ways of God. We should be teaching them at home when we are away, as they lay down to sleep each night, and the first thing when they wake up in the morning. We should teach them to recognize God's blessings and to hear his still small voice. But in order to do so, as mothers, we have to use the manual that was given to us by God himself. If we start to read from verse 5 forward to verse 7, instead of verse 6 to 7, we will read that verse 5 starts by telling us that as mothers, we are to love the Lord our God with all our heart, all our soul, and all our strength. Jesus himself quoted this as the greatest command of all. If this is the greatest commandment for us, then it should be the greatest priority for any person and certainly for any mother. Mothers, Every earthly mother should be connected to her heavenly father. The Lord God should be the Lord of our lives before he could be the Lord of our children's lives. Mothers, if we want the Lord to be in the life of our children, he has to be our God first. And this kind of love is with all our hearts, souls, and strength. That is how God wants us to love him with all that we got. And if we do that, we will want to follow up with verse 6 and 7 by using every opportunity possible to teach our children about God. We will want to introduce reading the Bible by consistently modeling that before them at a very young age and teaching them how to pray. We will see to it that they learn about God through the examples that we set as mothers, the words that we use and the tones in which they are said, what we watch on TV and how we react in certain situations in their presence. Our children need to see us as mothers modeling a Christian life before them. It is not enough my friends, to take your children to church every Sunday. We are to diligently teach them the word of God and impress it on their young hearts. We are to keep repeating it over and over again until it's grounded in them. The more time we spend with God's word, the greater impression it leaves on us. That's what God expects from us. Mothers, every mother is different, and every situation is different. But successful moms are hands-on moms, and we are called to be hands-on moms. Friends, the failure of Israel to faithfully follow God's instructions and diligently teach his word to their children is a sober lesson to us all today. May we recognize the serious spiritual danger we are in and determine to teach the truth diligently to our children and to our children's children. May God help us as mothers to live a life of example before our children. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this important lesson. Keep us as mothers alert to the dangers of falling into a worldly mindset and help us to keep the eyes of our hearts on Jesus. I pray for the younger generation that are surrounded by increasing attacks on the word of God. Help us, O God, to teach the truth of God's word to our children and our grandchildren at every opportunity 
and protect the hearts and minds of our children and Godchildren. This I pray in and through your holy name and for Christ's sake. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we have come to the end of our program and we want to thank God for the opportunity whereby we were able to enter into your home. We pray that this day will be a wonderful, wonderful experience for you. God bless you richly and do have a wonderful day in the Lord. Let us repeat the benediction together. Now may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forevermore. Amen.